Good morning, Northport, Venice, and Inglewood, including surrounding South County, Sarasota County areas. This is Francesco Abruzzino with the Venice Scoop Network. Today is December 23rd. Two more shopping days, or actually one more, well, two if you count today, shopping days until Christmas. Um, we got a little bit of things that happened over the last few days. Not a ton of news came out of the area, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get started with sponsorships. Who you see here is Island Photographics, Inc. And they're a spot today sponsor. Um, they do great photographic work. They do video tapes and DVDs, video productions. I put out uh, Debbie Hood and their video production of her latest video, which was pretty good. Um, check them out. They're doing some good things there. And whenever you need some pictures for anything, they're the media company to try out. You can reach them at 4850699 or visit them at 101 West Venice Avenue, Suite Number 10. And that's islandphotographicsinc.com. Um, if you're interested in sponsoring Like Island, by all means, send me an email. We basically will plug you on this uh, newscast and then we'll post you on the scoop pages and pin you up to the top like we have here with Island. All right, over to here. This is an article that uh, Michael put out with the Sarasota Herald, and it's covering the area of success in Nice Magnet to attract new businesses. And they talked about Sarasota having Voletti LLC, which developed a smartphone-based communication system for hospitals. Um, since the Economic Development Corporation for Sarasota County and Mark Huey have gotten more involved, um, back in 2009, the group has assisted 60 firms um, expected to result in 3,500 plus jobs through 2018. So this is a good article and basically they list different companies that taught all the good things they've done and the success they've had. So um, if you have a chance to check out that article if you have a subscription. The next one is the Venice Scoop uh, posted this story and it's on Deborah Mason and I use her name because she's posted on the wall and she has no problem with her name being out there. She wrote an article a while ago stating, hey, all my stuff was stolen, all my Christmas. Um, we know basically who did it. She alleged that there were some drug addicts in the area. Um, I think it was somewhere in South Venice. She was a little concerned that she felt the sheriff's department was dropping the ball and not arresting the people, even though she knew who did it. So on uh, third Friday, I received a communication from uh, the media individual at the sheriff's department and she sent me the arrest document and all the good information basically stating that the individual was arrested um, she confessed in to doing to stealing she re was recorded in the jailhouse telling people hey get rid of all that stuff out of our house and she was caught wearing some of the stuff while trying to pawn the stolen stuff at a pawn store um, there are some individuals that are also tied to this, and um, the, it's an ongoing investigation. I did post her name, but then I was contacted by her stepmom, and I guess her daughter goes to school with my daughter, and they really do not talk to this individual or have any contact anymore with her, probably due to the lifestyle that she's chosen. And it was causing some irreparable harm on the family. So, you know, my goal isn't to hurt anyone and I understand their situation and I empathize with them and I took it off um, but you know in this case I'm, I put it back on without that individual's name just to put this story because Deb has been getting harassed by them and I know this because she's been writing me since uh, Friday or Saturday stating that she's had to call the cops out there that the people are just basically harassing her and these are the individuals that are friends with the um, people that were arrested and I guess the sheriff had to sit outside her house yesterday. So um, that story continues. Uh, good job for the sheriffs for arresting the appropriate people. And good job in, in maintaining um, Debbie's safety while she's being harassed by them, which should never happen. Um, another story, and this is one that impacts everybody, 75. It's... Uh, it's open back up. It was closed until 8. The good news is they did not mention any other overnight closures. Um, there was a lot of congestion down that area. Obviously, us locals knew about it. If you're on my Facebook scoop pages, you knew about it. Um, but others did not. So it still caused a, uh, congestion. If you ever look, I was driving down 75 the other day and I was looking at all the traffic coming and I just imagined how busy 
River Road and 41 were with all that traffic, and it's uh, uh, it was uh, amazing. Hopefully, something will be done with the individual that caused all this damage. All right, here's a picture that was sent in by Rob Stewart. It's a bobcat. He's not sure how it died. Um, he basically saw it laying on the side of the road. You know, bobcats are bad for a lot of the animals out there. Um, but, you know, the bottom line is, is we've encroached upon their territory with our building and expansion. And what happens, they're forced out into our area, and it just gets dangerous for all of them. They're excellent creatures, and I, I wish this wouldn't happen. Um, not sure if he was hit or attacked or what, but sad, sad story for the bobcat there. All right, this story is uh, politics. District 74, that's us in Northport, and they're basically stating that there's 74 candidates that are running as Republican and Democrats for the position. Um, it was held by Holder, who, due to term limits, cannot run again. Um, they raised up to $327,000 with the front runners being Richard DiNapoli and I think his name's Garcia Gonzalez, an orthopedic surgeon out of Venice. Um, you know, those are the two front runners. Not, you know, I'm not sure. There's three reasons why they could be wanting this position. One is uh, the power that comes along with it. You get a lot of influential contacts. If you spend two to four years in there, you really, um, you really make the contacts with key people in the area. The other thing is just their commitment. Um, someone like Gonzalez, I, he's pretty successful. He probably doesn't need the money. Um, he's a doctor. I don't know if the political contacts are really important to him. So he may be just going just because he's inspired to do good for the community. And then the third um, third reason is the job. It give, applies, gives you a job, but I'm not sure any of these two candidates were going for that because it only pays 32000 a year. Uh, so more investigation. I don't know about, about either of them. I've heard really good things about this Gonzalez individual. Um, so we'll have to follow up on them over the course of the next few months until the election in November. This is a photo that was sent to me um, Saturday morning around 8 o'clock going northbound, just north of the River Road. I think it was up around Laurel. There was a car on fire causing major congestion. Uh, somebody was just sitting there for like 20 minutes. And the people got out safely from what I've heard and they extinguished the fire. They're probably going to need a new car, I'm thinking, after this one. What do you think, folks? Okay, next story. Um, this is from Inglewood. And this is the EMS um, channels. The Gondo put out last night that EMS was saying there was a boat crash with vet victims down at Stone Pass. A helicopter was being called in and they talked about serious injuries. I don't have access to that EMS channel. Um, I don't subscribe to the Gondo and I didn't see anything else put out. More than likely, we'll see something in their paper, which comes out on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So you can look for that story. I did not see anything in the Herald or any other major papers out there. This is over in Northport. I just posted this story, and there may be already be comments uh, from Alicia. And she basically was uh, driving down Biscayne South or by the library. She noticed that the street was taped off with a cruiser blocking it. And she was wondering what it's all about. I think one person suggested that maybe it's the 75 closing. I don't think that's it at 8.15. Um, not sure what's going on, so us nosy people want to know. Okay. This one is, we'll come back to that. Let's move that over there, and let's see. We'll go to this one. Um, the Gulf Coast Foundation has donated $1,200 in grants to the Northport City Hall, and that's so that they can display local artists. Good thing, huh? So if you can, they got three floors taken up there. Get out there and check it out. It showcases the talents of local adult and school-aged artists. How can you beat that? So good things from Gulf Coast. Okay, this is a sad story, somewhat sad. Um, Northport Sun put it out, and basically the Northport Farmers Market and Craft will close at the end of the year, according to Kathy Brown, the organizer. Um, it's a very sad day for her and for many others. Um, I think these are great... Uh, asset to the community and unfortunately Northport will be losing it. Um, I think they were stationed out at one point out by Warren Mineral Springs and I don't know if that closing impacted the uh, individuals at all but Brown said she received 50 to 100 calls just in the past week regarding this. Um, we still have the Venice one that's open up on Saturdays from 8 to 1 and sorry I got a light flickering issue from 8 to 1 so you can check that one out at Centennial Park on the island. 
that's it for the news, folks. I told you not a lot. Well, I didn't tell you, but there's not a lot of news over the weekend. Um, very little can, things happen, which can be a good thing. I did put out, while you look at the weather here, I wanted to mention um, my wife, Lisa, and the Angels program that she started. Basically, they're try, they were trying to help out five to seven families that didn't have, some didn't have beds, TVs, tables, clothes, toys, you name it. Um, some, some of these kids and families were in bad situations. So the community gathered together and with the help of many volunteers out there um, and several drop points like the Venice Prince Center, H&H uh, &H Signs, um, Gunsmith Gallery, um, Green Apple and Serena Day Spa as drop points. And then some of these people even went the extra mile. We had a lot of anonymous donators, which was great. And a lot of support. Debbie Palmer out at the storage bins helped out a lot. And they all came together. They were able to get all these people beds, all kinds of furnishings. And today Lisa's going out shopping for the toys. We still have some in the closet or garage, I mean. So uh, she'll be going out purchasing them today and either distributing them today or distributing them tomorrow in time for Christmas. So again, thanks to everybody out there. That's great that the community came together for that. Temperatures today, last day of hot weather, 81 today. Starting tomorrow, it's going to be 72 to 73. Um, the front's going to pass through tonight and tomorrow. Some, some rain is expected. And then it's going to move back north after it passes on Thursday. Uh, but Wednesday should be great for Christmas, 73 and sunny. Uh, let's see, we have winds out of the south, two to three foot chop. I went down there. There's some knee high bombers at the North Jetty. Um, fun if you have a stand up paddle, maybe. Tomorrow, the waves are supposed to get better, and those that will be at the south jetty, more than likely. And it might be a little bit later in the day. It depends on when the front comes and when the winds and the swell changes. So keep an eye on that. Some good information, and it looks like we'll have a couple days of surf. This is just a picture of the Venice High School Indians wrestling team. Um, I always wonder who this blonde-haired dude was, and it looks like he's a um, local coach there. Uh, Archer, I think is his name. Um, wrestling because, hey, I used to wrestle in high school back in the 80s, and I don't think I was as, ever as good as these guys, but it's good, good to see that. And here's my lovely daughter. You want to say hi, Bella? Hi. Hi. That's my lovely daughter, and that's my lovely assistant behind me. <laughs> All right, so that's Venice Wrestling. Um, another sports-related news, Coach Peacock with a Venice football coach. He was uh, hacked. His Facebook account was hacked. And that was last Saturday. Say, he, someone put an announcement that he was resigning and just, um, I guess, slammed the school admin. Uh, they found out about it, put a stop to it, and I'm sure Coach Peacock wants to find out who hacked his account, as would I. Um, let's see this next story. This is just a, on the Northport page. Um, Northport Sun did a great, great thread where they put the, all the churches and the local Christmas Eve, Christmas Day services, dates, times, locations, all the specifics you need. Um, kudos to Northport Sun. That was pretty informative. Um, I've asked some people on the Venice page and some people have listed things. I think this is the second thread because I lost the other one with so many threads that go out. But, uh. It'd be great if we had something like this for Venice. And let's see, the last bit of news is tonight, Christmas Eve celebration. And this is actually tomorrow night, I'm sorry. It's Tuesday from 6 to 7 from Coast Life Church. If you can make it out there, it's free. It's a Centennial Park. Um, you know, it'll be nice. Get out there, listen to Christmas music. It's for an hour. It's from 6 to 7, and then maybe uh, go out and eat. I put a list of all the restaurants that are open on my Venice Scoop page. Well, I asked them to list it, and some have gone along and listed it. Um, I'm sure most of them close early on Christmas Eve, so you may be able to catch some of them after dinner here. Okay, that's the news for today involving Venice, Inglewood, and Northport, including the surrounding South County, Sarasota area. So good things happening in this area. Um, for Francesco Abruzzino and the Venice Scoop, ciao tutti.